guys, welcome to my ukulele tutorial. Today we're going to learn quite an advanced uh, version of chords called movable chords. And if you've got the sheet with the movable chords in, then that's going to come in handy. If you haven't got the sheet, then don't worry because I'm just going to show you a few techniques on how to do uh, the first one a G major chord movable a B flat major movable chord and a D major movable. So we've got those three uh, setups which we can move up and down uh, the neck of the ukulele. And this can enhance your playing and give you access to other versions of chords as I'm gonna demonstrate. So the first one we're gonna look at is the G major movable. Now here's the normal G chord. Put finger one on the second fret on the C string, finger two on the second fret on the E string, so A string, and finger three on the third fret on the E string. So that's the normal G. But now we're going to try the movable G. So what you need to do, it can be confusing when you see uh, some of the uh, chord um, diagrams for this setup, and you're wondering if you need to bar or not. Um, well, I do bar it um, because I find it very difficult to use all four fingers um, for, the, for the G major movable. So what I do is um, I set up for the G chord, but I put my whole first finger right down on the second fret, barring right across, across it, and then I put my um, finger two, my middle finger, on the third fret of the E string, which basically brings in the G sound. Now at the moment I've got that, that note. So what I need to do is bring finger three over onto the fourth fret on the uh, G string and you get this sound. That's your new G chord. As opposed to this. Very similar, but this one's just got a bit more uh, top end I think. So that's your G major move ball. Bar down the second fret, put your middle finger on the third fret on the E string, and then put your ring finger on the fourth fret on the G string, and you'll get this lovely sound. Now, you can take that up to fret, um, move it up two frets, that same thing to get an A chord. You can move it up again one more to the um, fifth fret, and you get another version of our B flat chord as opposed to this. And uh, you can even uh, go on to the seventh fret and get a really high C chord with that shape as opposed to this. So have fun with the G major move balls. Next is the B flat move ball. Now, what you want to do is set up for the B flat chord. You either bar all the way across the first fret, um, do your B flat chord, or you put your fingers across the just the bottom two strings, the E and the A. Um, so you either do that and hold those two down, or put it right across, whichever one works best for you. Um, I'm going to do this one, and then you put finger two on the second fret on the C string and finger three comes over onto the third fret on the G string and you get the B flat chord. Which I know I've been working on with a lot of people lately and it is a tricky chord. So um, B flat, okay. Now what happens is, there's my B flat chord. If I keep that same shape and I move it up to fret three, so that's there. That's another version of C. Have a listen to it now. Fret 5. That's another version of D. Listen to the new one. And so on. Um, so that's your B flat uh, major movable. Have fun with that one. And then D major movable, you definitely need to bar for this one. So you want to put your fingers across the second fret, right along your first finger, uh, holding down all four strings. 
your pinky comes over onto the fifth fret of the uh, A string, and you get this lovely sound. That's the full normal D chord. Um, some of you may have just been doing this version, which is just finger one, two, and three on the second fret on the G, the C, and the E string, or finger three, uh, two, three, or four on the same place. That's fine, D chord, lovely. That's, that's, that's the easy version. If you prefer to bar it though, you can then move this chord up and down the uh, ukulele. So here is D. Fret three, um, 